in the shop. I'm your host, Donald Washington. This incident happened on the 400 block of North Lamry in Austin, Westside, Chicago, January 10th, 2022. This year, Walter Hughes, 40 years old. I want to bring you guys this story. I got a lot of other stories for you guys. Check this out. All right, the story's going to read a man was shot and killed Monday night, um, Austin, neighborhood, Westside, Chicago. Officers responded to calls, gunfire by 10 p.m., found Walter B. Hughes the third uh, on the ground with gunshot wounds to his back and his head and buttocks in the 400 block of North Miami. Only 40 years old, was taken to Mount Sinai Hospital where he was pronounced at 1047. I want to take you guys to this particular incident because, look, check it out. Check it out. This camera is on the wall of a building. And this is the building here. I'm going to show you guys the building. That's it right there. So when you look this camera, see how close it is to the wall? That's that building. You can also see the uh, church steps right there. That's the church steps that you can see in the footage. So you see this footage. You can see those church steps right there at the top, right? And I'm going to play this a little bit. So you can see those church steps at the top right there. On the 400 block of North Lambie. So, I'm going to show you guys. What do I see? Check it out. That's the camera. Check out what I see right there. Not just the church, but you're going to see camera. Police will release footage from buildings. But absolutely never from those pod camps. Never, ever. They go to uh, cameras on the church, on that other church. Well, that church. Please start to announce it. They got another view of the, 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 the homicide. But the only time they will release footage is say, hey, public, help us out if it comes from a building. They're not announcing, just like the purge. Y'all saw them. Hey, guys, here come the purge. Let's set up our cameras all over the city and let's sit back and enjoy this show. I also brought you guys innocent people, regular people, just to, just just out the blue, bling, gun down. Something ain't adding up. Something definitely ain't adding up. I'm also bring you guys this young man, Stefan Mack, 24 years old, on the 400 block of West 111th Street. This happened in Roseland, Chicago. Uh, January 27th, which was two days ago. Um, this is slight footage I have of it. You just heard that shit. We lie. Two motherfuckers clap. You just heard that shit. Not footage of it, but... After, um, so I want to bring you guys also to this particular story. Um, Stefan Mack, before I do, uh, story's gonna read that two men involved with an anti violence program co founded by former Chicago public school CEO Arnie Duncan. Um, was shot Thursday afternoon in Roseland, one was shot dead while trying to turn his life around, and he's coming out of a church. The other was a security guard was shot in the leg coming out coming out to aid the man. Killed was Stefan Mack, 24 years old, who was shot in the chest and the head. Just around 4 p.m. Thursday on the 400 block of West 111th Street, Mack was involved with the organization Creed, or Cred, uh, Created Real Economic Destiny. Was pronounced dead at the scene outside a church and ran across the street from the Youth Peace Center of Roseland, which worked with Cred, Cred according to the, uh, Peter Cunningham. It's also going to read, um, Arnie Duncan released yesterday experienced a devastating tragedy when a participant was shot and killed, when the security guard was also wounded. He said uh, the security guard sprang into action, trying to actually save attention and engage the gunman. This is, this is the tragedy in our communities here. Mac was a father of three. 
He just who had just finished high school. Supervisor uh, wanted to remain anonymous. The young man was killed. His kids and fiance was a big part of him, wanting to change for them. He wanted to change for them. Supervisor said. He knew that the stuff that was going on in his life was detrimental to him living and being able to be a part of his kids growing up. People from Craig wanted um, wanted change for different reasons, but sometimes even that person is ready to change. Their past may catch up with them, the supervisor said. Though there are risks, there's always risks sometimes what happened in Cunningham said Thursday. Incident um, unfortunate. Um, this is where, it, this is, I, this is down the street from where it happened at, and I noticed there's a camera right there on 111th Street, um, however, that's a church, but it's not the particular church it happened at, it happened, um, down here at this church, that's one thing our communities have, a lot of churches, and that's the youth, uh, I'm guessing the youth peace center they're saying, saying he ran out of there, and this is where you can see the guys who are filming where they turned and where the police was down here um, surveilling the area, well, had the crime scene taped off. So I'm assuming it's that church right there that's across from the youth uh, peace center and everything went down. I think he ran down here and that's where he had everything blocked off. That's the church and had everything blocked off down here. This was Thursday. The uh, story is going to read that Thursday there were three people, three people um, who were murdered that day. Um, Philbert, I can't even read my own handwriting. 28 years old, 1500 block of West. I can't read my own handwriting. Uptown, Northside, June 27th, three people murdered. My last video was shut down. Yeah, he's still in that now. See that car? Oh yeah, I tow truck in. The tow truck is a severe. Um, but yeah, that, um, but yeah, that car is. Um, it was 15 shots out here earlier. Cause they wouldn't let us get close enough. But the news is still here. Um, I like to showcase the violence that's happening in uptown. I mean, yes. So the last um, two people dead, um, two people dead, two people shot, uh, car was on fire. You should have seen it on uh, ESPN a couple of times, I mean ESPN, you should have saw it on WGN, uh, CBS, uh, ABC. Officers always bothering us, man, they just get mad. So this, this actually happened on 1500 block of West Wilson Street, uptown, north uh, side of Chicago, the North Pole. His name is Philbert Elange, 28 years old. Now, he was getting uh, sort of harassed by the police. They're like, get back, get back. And when I was out there filming, I got to a crime scene and there was no tape out there. If, no, it was tape out there and I was outside the crime scene and police still came pushing me bumping me and whatnot, and just harassing me, man. It was just unreal. Uh, one time I was out there filming, and I'm like, look, man, I'm outside your crime scene. If y'all don't want people here, tape it off further. It's just unreal. Like, if the news come out there with a big camera, say nothing to them, absolutely nothing. But when they see me filming, when I, get to, when, when I go to a crime scene, and I even have it on tape. I'm like, look, I'm taping y'all. They just pushing me, pushing me. And like dude was getting harassed, getting pushed back and whatnot. Um, the violence is unreal. It's unmatched. And it's not just here. It's all over the country. One thing is for certain, we must help ourselves. Absolutely nobody's coming to save us. You know, I wish that we would get past that 
um, mindset of, oh, they have to help us give us jobs. They have to come and help us clean up our communities. And when I'm saying, hey, no, 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 you can do it yourselves. You don't have to wait for somebody because it ain't never coming. We have to get in that mindset that we got to come and help ourselves. Shout out to everybody sending me stories on Facebook. I'm trying to get my Instagram up there. If y'all on Instagram, type in my life in the shy. If y'all on Twitter, type in my life in the shy. Of course, Facebook, YouTube. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video. Peace, peace.